hold on, because Micah was spitting. Man, I get the fan frustration, but I, th I don't think there's more anyone more frustrated than me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a competitor at the end of the day. Like, I feel like I'm a warrior. Like, I battle like everyone else battle. But at the end of the day, like, it's all about wanting more. And to me, not having everyone want it as bad as you do, that, that kind of hurts the most, you know? Because, like, if you're willing to take a beating like that, 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 that says a lot. Find it tougher to move on after a loss like that for the next game. I, I think I'll find it tougher if you know people don't uh, step up. You know, I think that's the tougher to like. Damn, like this is the mentality, this is the movement of this team. So to me, it's like a approval weekend, and, and I'm not just you know not putting anything on any of my teammates. I'm saying myself included. Like I need to step up. We all need to step up. Like this, like it would hurt me more if we all didn't step up. If we all played down to that standard again because that just tells me we're not moving in the direction that we should be moving. What? Good, people. It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk. Right back. Like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? How are y'all feeling? I know it's one of them weeks where you're like, you know how we feeling. We're not feeling good. And I feel you. I feel you because it's been a long week. It's been a whole lot of self-reflection and digging deep and wondering, how good is this team? <laughs> like, how good is this team? But look, before I go too far into this video, let me go ahead and say thank you to our channel sponsor, BetUS, where the game begins. Listen. If you're into sports betting, let them take care of you like they take care of me. Now let's talk about our defense. I know that's a bad word. That's a You say defense as a Cowboys fan right now. People tell you to wash your mouth out. So it's just like, don't, don't bring that word up. Don't bring that side of the ball up. Look, at the end of the day, we can't bring up nothing. The way we was playing, the way we played, I get it. But I'm bringing optimism today. I want to bring... A rebound culture and when you listen to Micah talk because I know that's why I played that first listen he's taking accountability he has maturity he's indirectly but directly calling out his own teammates now look you don't know if who Micah was talking to is still on this team as far as active roster because he could have been talking to Jordan Phillips but he's talking to everybody that went out there and didn't give their maximum effort on, on, on Sunday and I know it wasn't maximum effort because there's no way in the world the maximum effort looked like that. So, and I think him putting it out there like himself and taking accountability, if you listen to the full interview, I just want y'all to hear that clip specifically. If you listen to the full interview, um, it's on DallasCowboys.com or Dallas Cowboys um, YouTube. He says this wasn't on Zim. He specified this isn't on Zim. He says Zim had a good game plan. He matched personnel correctly. We didn't execute. We didn't put in enough effort. And when you go back and look at the film, and like I said, I know I'm not the film guru. There's plenty of places you can go get that. So I ain't even going to disrespect the people that do that. You go back and look at the film. This was not like crazy scheme to where players look confused. This was brute strength, brutal, just move out the way. We're going to drag you everywhere. It was that type of a day, day and game. But I love to hear Micah take accountability and pretty much just say, man, we're going to go out there. It's a prove it week. It's a prove it week. Hearing Micah say that just, it feels different. So that's why if you want to rewind and go back and catch the beginning, come back to this time part of the video, I get it. Micah just saying, it's a prove it week. We're going to go out there and we're going to put our full effort. And I feel like he's saying that because he's not only going to push himself, he's going to push his teammates. And that's what I want to hear. That's what I want to see. I know that Mike Zimmer knows football. I love the scheme. I don't think we lost because of the scheme. I think we lost because we took the Saints lightly and they showed us. I think we lost to the Green Bay Packers because we took them lightly. Now, I heard someone tell me in the comments, stop saying we took teams lightly. Just admit that we trash. That's a fair comment this week. You can't keep saying you took teams lightly if you keep getting blown out. At some point, you just got to own the fact that you're not that good of a team. But the funny thing with the Cowboys is I have the diametrically opposed situation where we do show that we're super dominant. And it just becomes super confusing because you're like, hmm, how how bad or how good are we? You know, so I'm going to choose to believe 
that we're taking these teams lightly. Because when we do play to our maximum, some teams can't do nothing no, no differently. They can play their maximum potential, and you get what you saw with Washington and the Giants. Two teams trying to become good, just flailing. We ain't that. When we play to our maximum potential, we push the San Francisco 49ers to the brink in the playoffs. We lost that game. But we they, they beat it was a close, close, hard last second ceiling type win. When we play to our potential, I know what we can do. I know this is a different team, but the core of this team is the same. And I expect to see that type of an effort this weekend. Like I told you, this ain't about wins or losses or anything like that for me this weekend. It's more so about do we belong. And when we left that 2022 playoff game, although it sucked the way we lost, I didn't feel like we didn't belong. Defense and offense, we went out there and ball. We lost. But Dak didn't even have a full set of receivers and stuff, and we still hung with the 49ers. That's what I want to see. I don't care about deficiencies. I don't care about injuries or nothing like that. I need to see the effort that lets us know that we belong. But before I get to the next part of this video, because I want to talk about Eric Kendricks, I want to give a shout out to our channel sponsor. Yo, check this out. I need y'all to do me a favor. I need you to go to betus.com, go ahead and build you an account. It's real simple. The interface ain't that difficult and start tapping in the bet us and what they got for you they got a hundred and fifty percent sign up bonus up to two thousand dollars use code youtube 150 and go ahead and start doing your thing look man if you're trying to make money this week it might say the bet against the cowboys it might say the bet against the cowboys i wouldn't do that because i'm a cowboys fan and i think we about to bounce back so whether you want to bet for the ravens or bet on the cowboys because the cowboys are underdogs this week go to bet us Go ahead and get your bet on. Like I said, use um, code U2150. Get a 150% sign-up bonus up to $2,000. Remember, bet you West, man, but the game begins. Check this out. Patrick Nosey Walker, one of the best reporters in the game, like literally one of the best in the game, he got a chance to catch up with Eric Kendricks this week. And you're talking about one of our veteran leaders on this team and one of the, if not the best free agents, yeah, the best free agent signing we had this year. And everyone played bad, bad last week, including him. But when you hear him talk, it's good to have veterans on his team. I've heard Brandon Cooks this week. He caught up with Brandon Cooks, and Brandon Cooks told us, don't panic. Don't panic. I love to hear that from our veterans. And Eric Kendricks says this is a huge and a great opportunity. Now, let me read his quotes. Um, I couldn't find the audio for this interview, so y'all got to bear with me in my, my reading expertise. But check it out. I said, man, this is a great opportunity we have. We're playing the Baltimore Ravens. You know what I mean. So it's like this is a team that we've known these past couple of years to be a serious contender. That's a fact. And this is a huge opportunity for us to show what we're made of as a linebacker core and as a team. And as a team. It's a huge opportunity. So have a smile on your face when we're preparing. Be excited. This is a great opportunity. This is what um, this is what we love doing. This is what we want to do. Let's go out and do it. You're going to get hit in the mouth. You're going to get hit in the mouth this weekend. Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson, this Ravens defense, John Harbaugh, the way he coaches, the way his team is physical. You didn't see them battle with some of the best teams in the league. They're going to come put us in the mouth, but wipe the blood off and get going. Let's go. Like I, The messaging that I'm hearing this week, I know it's all talking. Someone's going to tell me it's all words and Rome. No one cares. And I know what y'all going to tell me. And I get that. I ain't even mad at you because you're supposed to feel like that. Now, I did this whole soliloquy um, last night telling you, listen, I'm a fan. Look, I'll be down. I'll be humbled. But I ain't going to be humbled forever. The humbling forever is over. It's Thursday. We write back like we never left. That That phrase is not a joke. So the confidence meter is building. By Saturday night, the confidence meter is going to be at the brim. I'm not afraid of the Ravens. The Raiders weren't afraid of the Ravens. That's why the Raiders beat them. They can be beaten. Now, if we go out there playing around, we will get beaten. That's another story for another day. I just love to hear our veteran leaders, Eric Kendricks, Brandon Cooks, don't panic, huge opportunity. Our young leaders, the core of our team, Micah Parsons, coming out and taking accountability and saying, we're going, this is a prove it week. We're going to go show something different. That's all I want to see. One of the things you hear me always say on this channel is show me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want the Cowboys to do. Go out there and show me. 
But look, shout out to our channel sponsor, BetUS. I appreciate what's going on with the team. I like what I'm hearing, but I want to like what I'm seeing. It's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. The game getting close. The team talking right. Let's see if the team act right. I holler.